I'm sad to have to do this video, but unfortunately we've lost um, Edwin Strava, um, who died uh, as as a result of his injuries on um, the 24th of January, which he suffered in the in the um, Dakar Rally 2020. I'm gonna pay tribute to him in this video. So unfortunately, after losing Pablo Gon Gonzalez earlier this month, we we now have to sadly sadly realize that we've lost um, the second motorbike racer that took part in the in the rally Dakar this year. Um, his name is Edwin Edwin Strava. He is is from the Netherlands and he died due to a crash on the eleventh on the eleventh. Um, stage of the Rally Dakar on the 6th. He crashed on the 16th of of um, January apparently and um, suffered cardiac arrest and then had to be um, re um, resuscitated at the scene and um, and uh, um, apparently when he got to us when he got to hospital he um, they they uh, diagnosed him with that he broken his uh, his vertebra but he also suffered massive brain damage apparently um, and um, on the and cup only a couple of days ago he got transferred from uh, re from a hospital in Riyadh to a hospital in his homeland the Netherlands where he sadly um, died uh, on you, you know on the 20 24th so uh, you know when, when I first when I first got to hear about it I was a bit confused because um, normally um, I normally I thought you don't necessarily necessarily die from from um, breaking your vertebra I just thought you you are um, most likely to be paralyzed but um, apparently his um, family have decided to uh, um, switch off the life support machine um, which I think in this case was is was the right decision because can you imagine what it's like for somebody that is that is active like this all all their life and uh, you know, if if they had to be, um, if they crashed um, and suffered a heart attack to begin with, and uh, you know, I think um, it's better to r let him ri ride in heaven, heaven, and have races with Pablo. Pablo, rather than rather than him suffering with brain damage, um, but uh, you know, I, I I just I just want to pay my respects to him. And for those of you who who, uh, who are not aware, he um it was his third uh, rally da Dakar. Um, his first one was in 2018. Then he won the um, original Moto Mo 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 Tour class um, in 2019. Um, if for those of you who are not aware, what the don't know what the um, original Moto Mo class is, it's a, it's a, it's a um, class um, where where the rider has to do all, all the uh, maintenance of the bike him himself and he won that in um, 2019 and uh, he, he was also former rallycross um racer apparently um so it's very it's very sad i'm very saddened to have to make this video um and i want to ask you a question um do you think the um the rally dakar is is too is too dangerous for mo for motorcycles um i mean i'm not against motorsport and I do, do know that motorsport is dangerous and especially motorbike racing is dangerous but uh, um, I, I just think um, is because it's it's going over rough right in, in, in a unhospitable terrain do you think uh, the the rally Dakar is too dangerous Um do keep it civil uh, but let me know in the comments below and uh, let's start let's start a discussion but uh, you know the most impo important thing is that um, he, he is out of pain now and you know um, I just want to I just wanted to make this video because I'm really sad to have 
to have to read um, about his death um, on uh, Friday. I mean, I only literally read about his death after um, the Stoke match uh, yesterday. Uh, so that's why I'm doing this video today. Um, but uh, anyway, guys, I'm out of here. Ride in peace, Edwin. All right, bye.